Welcome to Pimon 5. I've been doing a lot of Pokemon unwrapping videos lately, but today I'm going to prove that I can really put the card to the table and actually prove that I can actually use the Pokemon cards in a battle. In other words, let's have a Pokemon fight. It looks like I'm up against him. And let's get to the fl coin flip to see who's going to go first. I get to flip. I choose heads. I win. Will I get at any good card? And I don't have any good cards. He has to go first. Okay. May not be my best start, but so far it is a start. In my defense, the guy hasn't made a much better move yet. Okay, I got a hand now. Let's see what I can do. It looks like I only have one Pokemon. Turtwig, defend me. Survive at least a turn. What is his Pokemon going to be? I'm doomed. Let's just hope Rangaroo isn't exactly a fast attacker. Well, he's not going to be a fast attacker. It's going to take him, well, three energy to attack. But in the meantime, I'm going to get... It. A uh, minor team aid to heal myself. Come on. Yeah, your ability will help me out in the long run. Constantly being able to heal my Pokemon without any fear. You know, your Pokemon was already strong. You don't need to give it more health. Um, oh, come on. No fair. Isn't there some way you can avoid doing stuff like that? For example, you could just let me win this by forfeit. That's a choice, right? Hello? No? I'm really in for it. I got nothing. And he's got a tank already on the field. I'm doomed. How is this fair? Well, it's a Pokemon match. We each have only one Pokemon. I can turn this game around. Well, I have Turtwig, and soon to be only Turtwig. On second thought, he now has three Pokemon to my two U1. Oh, I got a Rowlet on the field. And I'll take away his health. I'm going out, I'm going out fighting. 
Now let's just hope I don't go out losing. You know, the problem with Pokemon is you never know what the other people's decks are made out of. I'm taking a wild guess this guy is using a mainly steel type deck with hints of normal all in there. But I don't know what type of trainer cards or even energies he's going to have. So right now, I need to do everything in my power to prevent that guy from defeating me. So Turtwig, do your best. Rowlet is our only chance. And I'll explain why. Now, if I can evolve of him into his final form, he will be a completely invisible, invisible to all V-type attacks, which means no damage from any of those big heavy hitters on his side. A little mean, but it'll be effective in the long run. You know, I got nothing on my side and you're increasing the power on yours. Are you afraid of something or is there something I'm not understanding here? Okay, another one of my Pokemon cards out of the game. And now, I just need to give him a special energy and take him out. It's a little bit of a cheat code is what I'm doing right now. Just give those guys those and now not only is he damaged, now the Pokemon on his bench are taking more damage. I will defeat them all, dragging them all to their murky depths. I don't think this guy read my ability. If he did, he wouldn't be summoning more V-type Pokemon cards. He's not being the smartest. But he is being tactically aware of what he is doing. So you gotta give him credit somewhere. Now only if he can finish up his turn. Now it's my turn. And I'm gonna... Well... I need to capture something. Just something so I have it on my thing. You know, Delmise will be a good anchor in case I need anything else. <laughs> Get it? Anchor? He's the anchor Pokemon? The uh, jokes aren't my specialty, but in all forms, he will help me in case this Pokemon gets knocked out by any means. Now my only goal is to defeat him. At the rate he's going, he's going to defeat himself by decking out. All I need to do is defeat six of his Pokemon. Or four if I can defeat those two V Pokemon. Hello? 
do your attack. Okay, one more turn done. You know what? Next round, I'm just going to add a single energy to my Pokemon just to taunt him. At this point in time, he can't do anything to me. Well, unless he has some super special swap -roo card that'll make me take out my Pokemon out of battle. But, considering he keeps using Giovanni and other Pokemon um, to do his dirty work, I think I'm in the clear. After all, that trainer card is absolutely useless when it comes to swapping his own Pokemon cards. So right now, I'm in the clear. And he's in a whole lot of trouble. Or I'm speaking too soon. But even with me speaking, the guy swapped a Pokemon that I have a complete and utter it solid defense for for a Pokemon that I have a complete and utter it solid defense for. I'm not sure where his thought pattern was. Okay. Let me just attack and I'll let it be his turn again. Hello. Stop adding more to your deck. Every time I turn around, that deck's getting bigger and bigger when it's supposed to be getting smaller and smaller. I can either defeat you three ways. Take all your prize cards, defeat all the Pokemon on your field, or let you deck out. I prefer one of the last two. Well, actually, all three are kind of very capable at the moment. Well, number one and two are. Taking all your prize cards will be easy, and t letting you deck out will be even simpler. All I need to do is make sure you don't defeat me in the time being. You know, using Orangaroo's ability won't do you any favors because it only takes cards from your deck. So, you're only helping me, not yourself. Now, let's see if I can't get some more allies on my side. Or just some more energy. Well, I could still evolve Rallet. Let's see. Yeah, why not? I can use another ace in my hole, in case of emergencies. Now just let me to keep damaging them, and now I get three special prize cards for taking out those two Pokemon. Sorry, I won't miss ya. After all, you did more damage to me than I did to you. Naturally. Another way around. You haven't even scratched my Pokemon cards, and I just took out two of yours. Well, you defeated two of my very special Pokemon right off the bat. You hurt Turtwig, and you hurt my healer. So now, you have to face my wrath, and, of course, feel the wrath of my cards. See, now I have a larger army to be at her to defeat you. Let's see what Pokemon I can get. Well, not exactly what I had in mind, but... Torterra, glad to see you finally made it to the party. You get to join me for the final act. Charge. Hello. He better have some trick up his sleeve, or this is going to get really boring. 
really fast. But, at the moment, he's gonna deck out soon anyways. Yeah, never mind. Well, at least I got some good cards from this. And you'll see next turn why I like those cards. He made the biggest mistake he could ever do. Now, I'm going to use that card he accidentally gave me to increase the power of my Pokemon. Now, nothing will be able to escape me. Even his benched Pokemon are no longer safe. They will receive an additional 30 damage if they are a V or GX Pokemon. Which, with his deck, is pretty much a 3 to 1 ratio. And I'll get an extra card because I spent those cards. You mind decking out quickly so I can just swoop in and take the victory from you? Uh, is there a microphone in here recording and sending my voices to him? I didn't mean for you to actually deck out. It, it's not a fun battle if I win by deck out. I wanted to defeat those two Pokemon shields. Wait. This guy is a troubling master of the mind. He wouldn't just let me win like that. He must have some game plan. I'm still going to attack and make sure I leave a mark. So even if he finds a way to get an extra two cards or three in his deck by the next turn, he will have no way of escaping because all I'll need is one more turn after he's done and he'll be defeated with no way of escaping. Now take those 30 extra damages and now you both are one hit from death and I won. Really? No plan? I'll take the victory, but... Come on. It wasn't exactly very fun, Top Gun 44600. Well, if you guys want to use this deck for yourself, here it is. So, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. And have a great rest of your day.